guys it's Karen and I have got a dupe to tell you about and it's a really good one because I've been talking about this Smashbox 24 hour photo finish for quite some time and it's a holy grail of mine this is my holy grail eyelid eyeshadow primer um, it is this one's a silicone based one it looks like this and it just goes on kind of clear um, and it is 20 pound by Smashbox obviously and I use it to to keep my eyeshadow on longer, although I only really use it on my lid, um, but the main reason I use an eyeshadow primer is to make my eyeshadow pop. The difference between using an eyeshadow primer and not is immense. In fact, I'll show you with the eyeshadow that I used. Um, and I mentioned in my last new at the drugstore that I had seen that Barry M had a new eyeshadow primer out called Lidlock and it is a dupe for the Smashbox 24 hour. There's one difference in the ingredient that I'll tell you about, but this is it. And there's a little bit of a difference in the size. So it comes out looking pretty much the same and goes on pretty much the same. So it goes on, you know, um, clear. Right, I've covered that hand, so I'm gonna try and do this on my right hand. So that's the eyeshadow with no primer. And then let me put, put the Barry M one on. Put the primer on there. And then I'll go in again with that same finger and get some eyeshadow. I should really have been doing it with a brush, but never mind. And I'll go over that where that primer is. Do you know what? That's not going to be... Well, yeah, that is a good example. I don't know whether it will show up on camera as being a good example, though. Can you see the difference in those? It really does make a difference in how the eyeshadow shows. I think it maybe shows a bit more with different colours, you know. I've got a video of me applying these two, but they're exactly the same. I can't find any difference in application. They both apply clear. They both feel exactly the same. Um, they're both good in that they don't immediately dry down, which I like because with the, for example, the Urban Decay Sin, the one with the wand, that one almost immediately dries down. And to me, that takes away from that kind of giving it a pop effect. The giving it a pop effect happens when it's slightly wet. It's like if you wet your brush, it gives it that kind of effect. And then it dries down with the eyeshadow on it. And that's also, I feel like, what makes it stick. Um, and they both are exactly the same in that respect. Um, they both, I've worn these, I've worn this for two days and I've tried it on, you know, one on one eye, one on the other, and they, they both held my eyeshadow on exactly the same, two different types of eyeshadow. Um, yeah, no difference at all except in the price and like I said, one difference in the ingredients. This one is £19.99, this Barry M one is £4.99. These are both cruelty free, so there's no difference there. Um, the difference in the ingredients, Smashbox have a huge list of ingredients in this eye primer. Um, but the first, the top three ingredients in this is dimethicone, so the first is silicone, then it's isodotocaine and talc. This one is isodotocaine and talc is, is the first two ingredients, and so it's kind of missing that first ingredient of silicone. But I don't know, I can't feel any difference in that. Um, so that may or may not sway you towards one or the other. Um, this one has got 12 mil, this one has got 10 mil, so there's ever so slightly less in here, but as you probably can see from the video, I already used too much, I think, this morning, and I didn't use very much at all. You need the tiniest amount. It's something that I struggle with. You guys know I struggle with using a small amount of any product, um, but you only need the tiniest amount. These last me a long, long time, so I'm, you know, I'm not worried about that.
that's everything. I hope that you found this useful. I will link this one for the UK. I don't know whether you can get it outside of the UK. If anybody knows where you can get it outside of the UK, let me know because I do often get asked, um, especially by people in the USA, where you can get it, but obviously I don't know. So let me know so that I can perhaps answer that question in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you again soon.